Hey ladies, so it's me Shibri. I'm coming back with another tutorial on how I do an invisible ponytail. This is going to be done on my little sister. She agreed to let me do her hair for the sake of the video. Um, so yeah, pretty much just starting by brushing her hair into place. Um, the ponytail that she wants is actually going to be with a side part. She's showing me now where she wants the part. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're doing this on clean hair. What I'm doing now is just taking a comb to section off her hair where her part is going to go. Um, you don't have to do a part for this ponytail. You don't have to do a part at all. Um, or you can do a part on the other side. It's all up to how your client wants their hair. Um, so yeah, just continuing to comb the hair back all in one direction so that I can fit it in a ponytail. Um, then you can also use a hard bristle brush to brush the hair into place. That way you can have a better grip on the hair when putting it into that ponytail. So yeah, I'm just going to continue to brush the hair all going back into the metal ponytail. What I'm doing here is taking my Aussie Volume Holding Spray and I'm spraying her hair with this. This is going to help mold her hair into place so you can get that nice slick ponytail. And then I'm just going back in with that brush and brushing that into place. Now off camera, I actually did apply gel to her hair. I didn't show that, so if you need to add gel, go ahead and do so. Um, I'm just using an ouchless rubber band or ouchless ponytail to secure her hair in that ponytail. Um, what you actually need for this is going to be some braiding hair that you get from your beauty supply store and then also an 8 inch or a 10 inch yakky ponytail. Um, so I'm taking maybe one fourth of the package of braiding hair, um, you know like Kinkalon braiding hair which is no more than a dollar or two dollars at your beauty supply store. I'm going to go ahead and braid this into place. So you'll braid this into place or plait this into, into place as if you're doing a normal plait. So you're going to take two sections of the client's hair and then a section of the cankalon hair and just go ahead and plait that down. So it's a simple plait, ladies. Um, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm not going to show the entire process of braiding this down because it is a very long piece of hair that we'll have here. But yeah, just continue to go ahead and plait this down. Also, what you'll see here um, when I show you at the very end, you want to make sure that the plait is a nice size. You don't want it to be too small or too big. That's why I use one fourth of the pack of the braiding here. And so this is how long the actual braid is going to be. Uh, what we're going to do is actually attach the yakky hair to this braid with bunding glue. And I'm just clipping off the end of that braid. I don't want any straggly pieces hanging along. So I'm taking my bunding glue in the track for the yakky hair. I'm just going to add glue along the actual weft of the yakky hair. And then starting from the very bottom of the braid is where I'll attach this yakky hair to. So yes, again ladies, this part of the video, I believe I'm a little out of frame, but I'm taking the very tip of that braid. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this yakky hair around this braid. So you want to start from the very tip of the braid and work your way all the way up to the base of the braid. Um, I know some people actually start from the base and on down, but I find it's easier to control when starting from the bottom and working my way up. So yeah, for the next few clips, you'll just see me adding bunion glue and wrapping the yaki ponytail around the braid. Very simple. This is also a very cost-effective hairstyle. Um, it doesn't cost a lot at all. Um, and you can actually use items that you have laying around your house. Um, also, I actually wrapped the yakky hair very close at the bottom, so I ran out at the top. But as you'll see, or maybe I didn't show you, but I actually just added in um, some old virgin hair that I had laying around the house. You ladies know I love using old hair. But I just wrapped um, a piece of track around the very top um, that you'll see when I actually finish the very top of the braid. So yeah, just keep wrapping this around ladies. Um, I'm going to skip through the video or through these clips a little because it's just me wrapping your hair around the braid. And so yeah ladies, here what I'm doing now is going in with that virgin hair that I told you I was going to use just for the very top of the braid to finish it on off. Um, you don't have to use extra hair. I made the mistake of adding the yakky hair too close when I was at the bottom. So just space it out just a little bit. Not so much because as you can see I didn't have too much left to cover up. 
So I'm just going in with this virgin hair and continuing to wrap it around until the entire braid is covered. Um, I know some people may be concerned about the bun and glue getting on the actual or your natural hair when you get to the top of that braid. But if that is a concern, when you do take it out, just use some conditioner or oil um, you know, to let it soak onto the tracks before actually taking it off and I promise it'll just slip right out. You won't have any breakage of your natural hair. So yeah ladies from here I'm just going to go ahead and close this on off. Just continue to wrap it around like I stated until everything is covered. What we do here is go back, 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 back. And ladies, from here, once it's all wrapped around, you just want to go ahead and comb or brush your ponytail. Make sure there are no loose hairs. And now what I'm going to do to cover any tracks that may be showing, I'm taking hair from the very bottom of that ponytail, maybe about a half of an inch um, in width of hair. So go ahead and wrap it around to actually cover any tracks that are showing. And it also just makes the ponytail look that much sleeker. Um, you can hold this in place by adding some more holding spray, spritz, or even using bonding glue to secure it into place. So that's just what I'm doing here now. So just continue to wrap that round. It just adds so much more sleekness to the ponytail and just finishes the whole ponytail off and ties everything together. So to finish everything off ladies, I'm just taking some oil, just a very little bit and running it along the entire length of the ponytail to add some shine back to that ponytail so it won't look as dull. Um, and yeah, that's really it for this tutorial. As you can see how this ponytail looks, it actually resembles a pony's hair. So that's the really neat thing about this tutorial. And so ladies, if you would like to see any more tutorials, um, please thumbs up this video, like the video so that I can know you guys like tutorials like this. Leave any comments in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching. Bye ladies.